Hey guys, and welcome back to Free to Play Solo. This is Free to Play Solo 3.0. We once did one, two, three years ago. I don't know. It's getting close to the third year anniversary of Frostborn in 12 days, which also is my birthday. And um, Frostborn and I share the same birthday. I don't know if y'all knew that. I, those of you who've been around for a while definitely know that. I mention it every year. And, um, and so a long time ago, much more than three years ago, because I've been covering Frostborn before it came out, um, I started a free-to-play solo series, and it did really well. In fact, it's got 100 episodes, and those episodes combined have over a million views, uh, which is pretty crazy for this channel. And, um, and then I started, I, I started a second one uh, about little less than a year ago and it was doing really well but then I only got four episodes in before I just I had to quit YouTube for a while and do other things focus on other things then but I'm back and I'm covering a video uh, at least every Friday and uh, and so I I'm doing it and this is so this is gonna be kind of like free to play 2.0 the whole reason I was gonna do free to play 2.0 was because I wanted to show you guys how the game has changed. The free-to-play solo series is amazing. I would definitely recommend watching it. But there's, you're going to watch it and you're going to be like, whoa, the game has really changed. And so we started free-to-play solo 2.0 to, to basically have, have kind of an updated version with the newer game. I mean, there's so much. Like, districts didn't exist. <laughs> Classes didn't exist when I started that. At least not the way we know them. Isn't that crazy? So free to play solo, the 1.0 is 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 really ancient history. With Frostborn, it's definitely worth watching to see how the game evolved. It's a fun story as I as I grow from zero to hero in that. Um, but um, in this one, we are going to uh, we're gonna go with this archer dude. Uh, it just gives us a green bow. Honestly, the bow doesn't really mean anything. Um, it just, yeah, like this is the bow we get. Um, all right, we're gonna switch this. It has JCF in the name. I don't know why it had JCF in the name, that's crazy. Um, all right, and we're gonna do, I, we can't do free to play Forza because that name's been taken. Let's try it though. I don't think we'll be able to do this, but. Already exists, all right, someone already took it. Hmm, we are going to be. Three point oh, that's a great idea. Done, free to play for is a three point oh. Uh, we do need to change, uh, we're not going to be a girl, even though I've always, I've never been a girl. Uh, and I think some of you, ooh, that, actually I have long hair, should I go short hair? I don't know if y'all can see this top knot, I wonder if they have a top knot. No, no, no. No, give me a top knot, bro. There's a lot of hairstyles. Oh, that's close. All right, we're gonna go for it. That's close, that's about as close as we're gonna get to Fuerz's is actually hair, hair color. That looks kinda like me. I mean, he's, he needs some glasses, but that looks kind of like me. I think my skin's a little darker. Yeah. Maybe even a little dark. No, nope, that's paler. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Here we go. We're starting. And uh, this is going to be the best possible start. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the best possible start. The game has changed a lot. I haven't been in the game in the last six months. But the game really has changed um, 
it really a lot of the changes are in the upper levels okay so we're not going to be covering that for a while in this series um build a district create a clan build ships ships don't actually exist in the game um it's you know this kafir games are all about kind of making you think there's more that you know the viking lands is all that exists in the game in reality yeah, the, the, the Viking lands don't even look anything like this. England, France, none of that exists. Um, to my When I was talking to the devs, uh, there was no plans to add um, England and France. That, that was old news. We'll see if they're changing it, but they're adding like elves and probably dwarves and stuff. I don't know. They're adding other stuff that is very Norse mythology, which is awesome. I love Norse mythology, so it works out for me. All right, so run to the camp is the only thing you can do. At first, this game really limits you on what you're able to do. You kind of got to just follow the rules. Um, but I will give you a few tips that will help things go uh, better. One of which, well, you got to talk to this old man. I won't tell you what happened to this camp's residents. But it's abandoned now. You can settle here and find the resources you need. But first, you have to deal with the dead. Well, I think I can figure out what happened to the residents with just some basic context clues. All right, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to move my bow off, and you should too. Um, the bow is um, not worth it. And then I'm going to switch over to Cure. That's going to give me a little bit more sustainability. Early on, food is hard to come by. Healing is hard to come by. So you really don't want to spend too much of your healing on um, on anything um, other than, they, than you have to. So um, the nice thing about this first spot is that the, the hit points are so low, you can actually, if you get a critical... Uh, which I'll show you how to do. Um, you can get that critical with your fist uh, and, and one shot them with your fist. So um, we're going to go over here, this button all the way over to that side of the screen, hit the, the crouch, and, uh, and that makes you sneak. You can sneak up behind them, hopefully. And so I could two shot this guy or I could try to reset him. Let's see if I can reset him. There we go. So I'm just keeping my health, you know, completely empty or, or full. So I can one shot this guy with my fist, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and just kill this guy. He, get, he gets one hit on me. Six health. Not a big deal. All right, and we're gonna move around over here. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and... All right, I collected the three limestone. And three logs, which we're gonna use. All right, we're just gonna kill this guy, let him get another hit on us. And we're going to pick that up. Alright, we're going to see if we can sneak past. We really want to hit this guy. This is the guy we want to hit. Because uh, they have a ranged attack. Okay, so I've taken 18 damage. We're going to go ahead and heal up. And now we are at max health again. Well, two, two less than max health close enough and so we're not using any healing which is nice because early on in the game it's it's annoying to have to to heal now you can heal by letting yourself die because you are an immortal if you don't know that if you're new to the game you are immortal you can't die you can also heal by leveling up like we just did
Okay, we've cleared out all the enemies, which is wonderful. Very easy to do. We've got a little little bit of damage. We're going to heal that up. And we're going to put this in the cart. Now, you might be like, oh, I'll do that later. That's easy. But the problem is the game at this stage in the game is not open world. Like it's going to be. The game is an open world game. But right now, you kind of have to do what it's asking you to do. That that's And that's how a lot of open world games start out there. They get you to kind of follow their system. You know, we just created a district. Um, they want us to upgrade a few things. They want us to kind of like understand how the game works. So different than how I, you know, started off because they didn't even have uh, districts back then. Wow, they really changed this into like an autumn look, which I love. Um, so you're gonna clear things out for so cheap built this entire house with three wood and three stone oh I built a tavern as well um, or maybe did I build the tavern did I build the tavern or not yeah, I did. Okay, so I built a tavern and a house for three wood. And I built that altar with three stone. And uh, now I'm going to go get thousands of stone and build less. Like, build, like, a couple fence posts. So this uh, does not, it doesn't quite work proportionally to what you would expect. Um, but that's okay. I would say that that's a little bit on the lazy side for developers. They're like, ah, I don't want to have to make it all like line up. But you know what? If I were developing a game, I'd probably do the same thing. Okay, what are the tasks? Our tasks are craft a hatchet. So we are going to craft a hatchet. And I'm going to click it on auto. A uh, couple things you need to keep in mind before you click it on auto is... The, once you chop down these trees, um, you cannot chop down trees in this. Uh, you cannot ever have those trees grow back in your base. You can have some other trees now. You can grow some maple trees, which is fun. But you can't have the normal pine trees. So if you're going to keep, like this tree is kind of pretty. I kind of want to keep it. Um, you have to purposely avoid it um and i'm gonna build a pickaxe now cut down three trees now you do need to cut down three trees um which i don't know if you can i guess you could probably do it let's let's find out we're gonna go see if we can do it in the green zone and save all of the trees uh except for that old gross dead one um in our base and then we could build our base around those trees i don't know about you guys but if i had a plot of land i would want there to be trees on it that's kind of just part of um the way that you know that's just good landscaping you know what i mean and so i like to have those trees also the vines looking looking promising we're gonna Chop down this tree. It looks like someone else has been clearing this out. And I haven't cleared everything out though. I'm gonna chop down this tree. So um, the vines that are on your thing. Okay, I need to craft a pickaxe. Did I already craft one? I did. So, um, the vines that are on your walls in your base, those, uh, also, once you pick them, they're gone forever. So if you like to have some decorative vines on now, that one's a hard one because you even put a chest near it and you click the wrong button. It's gone forever. It's hard to keep the tree. You at least have several mistakes with your hatchet before it's like, well, 
you know, you kind of see it coming. It's like, oh crap, I accidentally had my hatchet on and I accidentally chopped the tree, but it was just once, you know, it's okay, I just won't do it again. And then you do it again <laughs> and you're like, crap, I've only got two left. And, you know, but honestly, I think mine, I think there was one I kept hitting and it lasted like a year and a half. Um, and, and so that's pretty good. You know, I had, I was able to enjoy that tree, uh, for a year and a half, which was, which was pretty awesome. All right. Attracted a wolf, which when I'm, you know, using fists is not ideal. I'm going to go ahead and craft a spear. Not sure where that lines up in the whole um, order of things. And um, I'm going to craft another hatchet. guy was hiding in the bushes all right so I got my spear I'm gonna one shot or not one shot two shot this guy it's what's really nice about the spear and kill oh I need some leather so you gotta sneak up on these deer or they will not uh, let you get close to them you can work with a teammate to try to kill him, but that's, no, honestly, that's rough. Like, it's a lot of work, and it's just so much easier just to sneak up on him. All right. Now I need some rope. And so I might have gotten that from the enemies down there, but I'm, oh, there we go. We got the rope. Okay, so I am not going to craft this backpack yet. Oh, I need cloth anyways. Um, I'm, there's definitely cloth at home. So we're going to go. We're going to go home. No, nope, I'm going to kill one more guy. This guy is a little tougher. But again, you got a spear. You're only going to take... I just took 18 damage. And uh, and then I can heal up. You don't want to hit too many of those guys, or you will end up, you know, kind of running out of health. And it's just annoying when you don't have health. It makes it very hard to farm a zone if you're you can't take any risks. And so, really, I would say if you get that low health and you're not able to kind of keep it up, uh, then I'd go go home, put your spear away, and. Get, you know, go let yourself die and then it resets your health and you can kind of get back at it. Otherwise, you're just, it just makes the game feel a little odd. So, okay, I'm going to go over here and grab this guy's leather and we're going to put some stuff in the cart. Oh, you can double click on things and finish it up. All right, I got to go back to my district, but I, I really want to grab the appropriate amount of cloth so that when the so you see how hard this is if I go here and I accidentally click the wrong button I you know I lose that vine all right take all take all all right we got it we got all the cloth we need man I miss my mount I miss my uh, northern wolf but that's okay. I'm. It's kind of fun to start over. Actually, I, it's a lot of fun to start over. I'd say if you're ever getting tired of this game, starting over is the way to enjoy it again. All right, we're back here. Now five wood and five stone. We're going to build a building. And we're going to build a whole fence system. Which is awesome. Alright, so that was, you know, a little bit 
It was about the same. I'd say that was about the same. We built a building and a fence versus a, two buildings. Uh, but it, it was a little more wood. It's going to get crazy. There's going to be like a thousand wood and a thousand stone. And it's going to be like you built one fence post. Trust me, it's going to get crazy. Okay, we did it. We're going to go back to our camp. A lot of busy work initially, but it it is really helpful because it teaches you how to play the game. It makes you realize, oh, okay, I need to go to district for these things. I need to go to my house for these things. I need to go to zones for these things. So they're really just teaching you how to play the game, and it's definitely awesome. Like, it's worth it. All right, we have finished the tutorial, and we are now into Act 1. If you want to access Act 1, you'll see the book up there that's blinking at us that has our acts. There's some of these okay rewards here. Um, you can get premium, obviously, if you're playing free-to-play. Oh, by the way, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this. The whole design of the free-to-play solo series uh, is to teach people how to play this game when they don't have friends and they don't have money. <laughs> if you don't have friends and you don't have money, you may be sad about other things in life, but you will not be sad about Frostborn. I will teach you how to enjoy the game um, even without those two things, which those two things are important. You should consider um, finding a way to get friends and money, um, but not for the sake of Frostborn. Frostborn, I will teach you how to really enjoy the game. And arguably, I, I've had more fun with Frostborn uh, free to play than I've had when I spend money. It's it's fun to have stuff, especially as a YouTuber, where you get to show it off to people and be like, "Look, I have the coolest mount." But at the end of the day, this game is just a lot of fun free to play. And um, I'm gonna read this note to the new Jarl, and then I'm gonna delete it. Uh, we're gonna put this bow in here because we're gonna use that later We're gonna use it in you know when we defend our base Which we got some time right we got to wait until we're level 10 before we're gonna get raided um, we're gonna go ahead and um, Plan out our base design or, or a little bit. Yeah And what I want to do Is uh, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna build I want to do something different than I've done in the past. So I think what I'm going to do, I got it. I'm going to build this room out a little bit. And then over here, I'm going to widen it. This may not feel that different than previous times, but it's gonna look way different eventually. Okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So let's go ahead and build some walls so that the quest is happy. We're gonna, let's see, the door's gonna go, or I could just shift it all over. And then I could keep my vines. Okay, I'm gonna keep a window here and a window here. The corner's gonna be windowless. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, so I, I, I'm i gonna come back to base design in a different video. Uh, I'll plan this out a little bit, but I'm already starting to think about like, okay, this is gonna look cool. Um, so we did that quest, now we need to craft a backpack. Thank goodness, I was waiting for the backpack. Backpack gives you those five extra slots uh, down here. Super big deal. Eventually, you're going to get a tier two backpack, which gives you more. Tier three backpack gives you even more. And then you're going to get a uh, mounts. And mounts can help you even more. So, uh, in fact, there's a... The bear and beaver give you plus ten. Uh, a lot of mounts will give you plus five. And then there's a there's a setting on some of those, especially the bear, where you can get a legendary stat for another plus five. So you can get to the point. Oh, and then there's something else. I forget what the other one is. I think maybe you can, I, I, I forget what it is, but you can get to the point where it, like you're scrolling down and there's just, you got a lot of stuff on you, 
which is a really cool thing about Frostborn. I, I particularly like that um, about this game. So, all right, we're going to go to the Forest of Whispers. We're going to go ahead and just put all in here, grab these um, items. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. No, we're not going to do that. I forget. This is another thing that's changed about this game since I, you know, started my other free-to-play series. And that is that there's five quick slots down here. And that's really the best place to heal. So we're just going to go ahead and, and kind of start that habit of healing um, down there. And we're going to wait until we can, you know, use a potion or switch weapons. Um, oh, another thing is if you want to keep the deer on your property. Same thing. You can't let them die in the beginning. Uh, some people do elaborate plans to have deer uh, in their courtyard. Oh, that is such a good idea. Okay, I'm going to do that in this game. I just uh, I have a really cool idea for, for deer uh, and for other aspects. Um... All right, rate the game. How much are you enjoying it, Adventure? Uh, I haven't really played it yet that much, but I guess I've been playing for about 25 minutes. I've been talking for probably 20 minutes, playing for like five. But, all right, kill three enemies in the f Forest of Whispers. Okay, so again, sneaking is your friend. They don't see you, they don't hit you, and... Um, and so you've got, and you can see, I have to hit this guy four times if I'm gonna, you know, not sneak up on him, but only two times if I do sneak up on him. And then being the cure class, uh, which you start out with, no matter what class you, you say I want to start out with in the beginning, that just affects what weapon you start out with, which is a crappy weapon anyways. Um, but no matter what, you have the cure unlocked. So go ahead and unlock the cure i mean if you're really being careful um open a chest okay if you're really being careful in this game um it's not really that big of a deal because you're gonna at first you're gonna level up faster Ooh, silver nice i don't know if that guy had been hitting the mimic so that silver, that pile of silver was from a mim, not a mimic. Sorry. Uh, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of him. Let's see if we can find him. I don't think we can though. I think it's, it's already gone. Um, wow, what's the name of that thing? It's gonna really bother me now. Okay, we opened a chest in the Forest of Whispers. So now they're offering for us to buy a backpack. Uh, it's a level two backpack for two dollars for three dollars. Uh, it's not a bad deal if you like to spend money because you're also getting fifty coins. Uh, we're not doing that in this uh, episode, but to give you kind of an idea of what that you know looks like, um, the you know coins. Fifty coins is normally two dollars, so you're getting the two dollar deal and then you're also getting uh backpacks a backpack on top of that you can buy the backpack for uh and any of these packs do not recommend this i do not think even on sale 130 coins is you know we're talking about five bucks so that if you're wanting a level two backpack that's the way to to make this happen uh that's a better option for you guys uh, to get that three dollar one um, cut down three f trees in the forest of whispers all right go for it cut down me three trees all right i'm gonna fight this guy mr leto bro he's bringing people for me to kill All right, level five. So level five gives you your first three classes. They're all free. You don't have to do any grindy work for it. Dude, all right, leave me alone.
Oh no, he got this guy. Bro, Gabriel, you are so sad. <laughs> this is so sad. Mr. Leto, you jerk. Did I get... Oh, yes, I got the hammers. I'm going to give it back to Gabriel if he comes back. Uh, okay. Well, I am dying of hunger and thirst. <laughs> He's got all the enemies again. Bro, this is hilarious. You... This is sad. This is Frostborn, though. No, me... Uh, I cage... Reset. I thought that was smile. So for it's a game. Well, it says it's a game. Yeah, that's what everyone says when they're being a jerk. Oh, it's just a game, and I'm like, well, is is that what you want to do with your your fun time? Is uh, be a jerk to people? Because <laughs> it kind of ruins their game for them. <laughs> That poor, I had been helping him. I had been helping him kill his mobs. And then he brought two mobs. And I'm like, all right. This is no longer... This is no longer me helping you. This is you being a jerk. And so I didn't let him put it on. And then I was hoping he was going to die from his own mistake. And he ended up... He ended up getting away with it. So... That's a bummer. But whatever. Okay, so we're going to build a campfire, right... Here. Okay, this is gonna look good. Okay, uh, I have a plan, and but I'll I'll mention that in my uh, in the episode where I talk about base design. So this was pretty good start. We uh, we've got something going. We still we're only level five. We got to level ten before we need to defend our base. Um, so we're going to kind of. Uh, you know, just kind of slowly draw this out. As a free-to-play player, you can't just, you know, start a raid at any time. You'll lose everything you have. But we've got some time. Uh, so probably next episode we'll be getting ready a little bit more. Probably by that third episode. I think last time it was our fourth episode we did the raid. I think this time we'll go a little bit faster. Raids can be really lucrative uh, because you're also fighting against uh, not that great of players. N they're not lucrative in the sense that um, you're gonna make you're gonna rate them well, but like they could attack you because they're they don't know, and then you can use your advantage to kill them. We we are gonna need some bolas, um, though we do have some hammers, which I wasn't expecting to get this early, uh, and so that could help us in some PvP as well. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.